going to say it. And we've <laughs> done what we can. We've won 1-0. We're in the playoffs by goal difference. Uh, couldn't have um, happened better for us, especially at home in front of a large crowd. Uh, brilliant. Brilliant. The crowd were tremendous. I thought it was a little bit flat first half. I mean, our performance, we looked a little bit leggy. It's probably been nine hours on a bus 24 hours ago. But uh, um, we grew into it. We weren't as, as good as we were. The intensity weren't as high as we would have really liked. But... Um, I can't what they've, what they've done this, given this football club is unbelievable this season it really has and all I can speak about is since we've come in come in through the door they've been a pleasure to work with they really have they've, they've given everything they possibly can they run themselves into the ground and and to deliver a performance and see it out the way we did as well was was really pleasing. It wasn't easy, was it? I mean, they're, they're a decent side. I mean, I know they were missing Matt Reed. I don't, I don't know why he wasn't playing, but yeah. uh, without him, they, they were still a difficult side to beat, and they were very physical again, you know. And uh, our youngster did well against it. They did, yeah, um, and that's that's credit to Billy to, to to get them in this position because they, you know, nine games, ten games ago, they weren't nowhere to be no. seen, but they've been on a hell of a run, and the confidence is really high. Uh, so we we knew we had to combat or, or stand up to the physical side of things, um, but um, no, to a man, to a, we're, we're a young side as well. People forget how young we are, and and they're learning all the time. And um, it's it's uh, I'm so pleased for them. I really am. So we go into the game at uh, Curzon Ashton, and if we if we win that, then we're possibly in the playoffs. Unbelievable. Who'd, who'd, have, who'd have thought who'd that? Have thought, who'd have thought that? Did you think that when you first arrived at Kettering? No, 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 no. I mean, there was there was always an aim of of this. See how far we can push it, uh, and see what we can get out the players. But that's credit to that group. It really is. It's, it's just down to the players. They play the game. I mean, we we can bark and shout as much as we can on the side and give them a game plan, but they got to execute it. And um, every week, every Saturday, Tuesday, as as we've been playing, they've given everything for the shirt, and you can't ask for nothing more. It must give you heart for next season. I know we're talking, you know, the season hasn't finished yet and who knows what will happen. I mean, if a miracle was to happen and we go up, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. then it's a different ball game completely. But even if we don't, you know, it is giving you a good grounding for next season with the players that you've got. We're going to lose a few, obviously, yes, to the yeah. uh, clubs they go back to, but certainly the players that you've got to, on stock here are phenomenal start for you. Yeah, yeah. no, they've been, they've been a credit. They really have. And um, it's a few out of contracts, and so it's, it's it's a discussion that we've got to have with uh, the owners and chairman as well to see what we can do and what we can what we're allowed to do. But uh, now it'd be a much enjoyable. Uh, yeah. yeah, so they it's, all seem it's to good. enjoy it here. I mean, I've spoken to the players individually, and I know you have obviously, yeah. but uh, we speak to them, you know, and they all enjoy it and want to stay, you know, yeah. and uh, want to perform. So that's good heart, isn't it? There's yeah. no, you know, nastiness or niggles. And the dressing room seems fantastic. There, there's no big egos in there. The really level. Not even crawls. No, well, <laughs> apart from crawls. <court. laughs> <laughs> but no, the the uh, level bunch. They get on well with each other. Um, he, even Liam Daly, who's got vast experience in, has just come in and took to it like a duck to wall. So he's been he was. Um, he only came on second half, but phenomenal when he came on, winning every header, wasn't he? He was just, just yeah. the time he needed. It. Yeah, yeah. That is calm head, been there, done it, got the t-shirt, and uh, just sat in the middle there. Anything that come down the middle, the other two just got round him, and we we, we saw it out. So it's going to be a, a, a traumatic, well, dramatic finish, isn't it? Whatever happens, I mean, what a division this is this season. That you know, I think Gates are the champions, aren't they? But beside that, yeah. um, the last place, you know, is still up for grabs. Which yeah, is fantastic. yeah, and and I thought to get to as far as we did with uh, with two games to go is, is a credit to the group, uh, and now they've taken it another week forward. Um, it's the teams we played in, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's not been if yeah. we've been playing. Um, mediocre sides we've played, you know, the top the best, sides, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and as you said, Alfreton on a nine game unbeaten run got exactly. themselves into it. It's not yeah. been easy at all, no, has it? No, in those three draws against the top three sides, exceptional, yeah. exceptional. Yeah. We looked solid, we, we were compact, and, and to go to them and play them teams and look as you know, as good as we did, you know, without the ball, really, because we didn't have possession of the ball, is, is a credit. It really is. They're really receptive to anything we try and give them, and uh. Um, even the loanies that have come in, they've, they've, they've taken to it. And uh, would you like to see some of them stay, if possible? It would be lovely, would. But we're, we're um, if if not, 
you know, we've had a small little part in the development. And, yeah. um, and that Jackson is, Smith's been tremendous. Oh, magnificent, I mean, magnificent. And, you know, he had a, a few um, sort of uh, frailties early doors in, in the season, oh, but okay. he's, been, he's been phenomenal. Oh, magnificent. In magnificent. that game at um, File, that's a yeah. world class. Yeah, you know, and he's got a great future. He has. Coops as well. Oh, even Jack Smith, he hasn't played a lot of it, and he's, he's, he's frustrated that he hasn't. But he's been a part of it. He's, he's massively. Coops are going to be a massive loss if he does go. You know, yeah. which I'm sure he will do. Yeah. because he's got a, a future ahead of him. Oh, I think so. Uh, I think it's so. frustrating for our fans because we like these players. You yeah, know, myself included. You know, they yeah. think, oh, please stay. But <laughs> you've got to look at it, and especially your end, isn't it? They're, I know. They're going to go on. I know. I, they will do, and they go with our blessing and. Uh, Little part of the development, hopefully, and they remember us as they get bigger and bigger and yeah, go well, on I'll in the careers. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, so thanks, you, Ian. Thanks for coming in. Um, no, we'll be there at uh, Curzon and we're biting our fingers down to uh, whatever <laughs> level. Down to the knuckles, down to the knuckles again. But yeah. uh, what a great ride it's been, and uh, no, been great. brilliant since you've been here. And uh, Thank you for that. It's our last home game of the season, obviously. Brilliant. You know, and the fans have been uh, really up for oh, it. Oh, they've and, been magnificent. Um, since we came through the door, they've been so supportive, they really have. And again, they drove us through, got, got us over the line today, and I'd just like to thank them as well. They've been outstanding since we came through the door. OK, and thank you very much. We'll see you next Saturday. Yes, look forward to it. We'll hope. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers.